Welcome to my channel, Let's Talk. Let's do talk. Let's talk about the hoopla regarding Kwame Brown opinion, which he has a right to give on his platform. Like every other citizen in the United States of America. What I really am having a problem with, I'm having a problem with this. Those individuals, doesn't matter to me that they are females, or whatever they want to call themselves, um, who hypocritically express their opinion about Kwame Brown's opinion regarding Dwayne Wade and how he demonstrates himself as a father. These individuals the three of them want to create a caricature, a caricature of Kwame Brown so that they can diminish his civil liberties, devalue his opinion while trying to exalt their give an opinion over not only his opinion, but many people who may feel the same. So while they are attacking his right to freedom of speech and its correct content, While they're doing that, they are presenting themselves as modern day slave drivers, in my opinion. Modern day supporters of disparaging blacks rights black rights and the devaluing and emasculating of black men black boys the black family black women and the growth and development of black people as a whole. So they sit in the position of puppets whose strings are being pulled to promote the agenda of depopulation and emasculation of black men, which means they're also attacking black women, which means they're also attacking black family, which means they're also against nature. It's one thing for someone to not comprehend the moment, the moment, like I heard, um, what is it? Gravity for takeout, I believe. That was Kobe Bryant's. May he rest in peace. Him and his family's moment. What did all of that have to do with anything? And who cares if uh, Dwayne Wade is friends with the late Kobe Bryant? 
because that's not a friend-like behavior to take and utilize your child as a tool, a distraction to distract from the issue of the contributions that Kobe Bryant has made to sports and throughout the world because he was also instrumental in other things. He wrote books. He had a stance and a position about certain acts, legislative acts, uh, corporate acts. So yes, Kwame Brown was correct. That child who is in the stages of serious development and hormonal um, construction and within his being that needs support for those changes that creates confusion and issues in a child's life needs to gracefully bow out from pushing his child before the world to be made a mockery of. Because just like they're supporters, they're also non-supporters. So you're using your child, put him, put in your child at the front line of what? Of what? For what purpose? That makes no sense. That individual is a child. And you have now not only usurped someone's memorial, their moment, you have also placed a child in a position where they can feel the onslaught of other people's negativity and that is unnecessary. But we go back to the puppets who think they have a right in their hypocrisy to express themselves so negatively and foolishly. What gives these three men, women, an actress, a uh, uh, another actress and a comedian, what, what qualifies them as expert to express an unqualified opinion? Well, I would say that Kwame Brown being a father would have much more expertise in that field of number one, being a man and admitting that he's a man, admitting his role as a man and knowing his role as a man, admitting that he's a father and knowing his role as a father. Because I myself will admit to being female. I myself would admit to being what we term woman. Mm -hmm. I could not speak on being a man. I am not physiologically a man. I have not been brought into nature with the chemical makeup, the genetic makeup of what it takes to be a man. And I admit that there was no error in creation when I was brought forth into the physical realm. So, what qualifies them to speak, all three of them, to speak to a man on an area they have no expertise in? No background experiencing. Now maybe comedian, making jokes, yes. Maybe acting, yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Because even if you're a mother, it doesn't qualify you as a father. Okay? I am, I am offended by the hypocrisy of the gatekeeping puppets who are trying to confuse the masses. Seriously, confuse the masses. There's no confusion. Kwame Brown has every constitutional right to express his opinion. And finally, let me say this. The issue of taking away people's 
civil liberties is a, a issue that keep coming up where other people are trying to tell this person, you can't say this. Uh, why not? You're saying whatever you're saying. Please, everybody, stop and think. It's time to teach your children that the television and the screen is only a tool for people who wants to push ideas on other people. It's time to teach your children that they have a choice to choose their parents to be their significant person in their life. Not a screen where strangers are throwing ideas at you for whatever hidden agenda and purpose they are. Fam, tell me what you think. Peace.